So, <clears throat> hello everybody. Welcome to this uh, webinar. My name is George Penev, and I'm the co-director of the Bulgarian FinTech Association. I'm going to be your host today. So in the next few minutes, uh, we're going to have a presentation about our topic today, pandemic, uh, how businesses uh, were forced into the new age of payments. Uh, right, after, uh, uh, right after that, there is a Q&A session. So you're all invited uh, to participate, ask your questions, uh, express some comments on the, on the things that uh, Krasen will present to you. Um, and just before we start, a uh, really quick, uh, quick uh, disclaimer. This webinar um, is going to be recorded. Uh, so uh, we, we do this uh, with one single purpose, that we, so we'll be able to, to share it after that with, uh, with the rest of our audience. Uh, so without losing any more time, uh, I'm giving the stage to Krasen Popov, who is uh, an international sales manager at uh, my post. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you very much for attending today. First of all, can you all hear me well? Yes? I hope yeah. you can. Okay, great. Um, I took the stage today um, to speak about something that I'm deeply interested in myself, uh, namely the state of business during times of pandemic. Um, how does this affect us all? Um, why are these extraordinary times, apart from what we are being bombarded with on TV or, or on the internet all day long, on literally all sorts of channels, what is hidden, what sits underneath all of this, and how, more importantly, and most importantly, how the business landscape is about to change, at least in my, in, in my view and in the view of my boss. Um, what is so characteristic about the world of today? Lack of security, lack of foreseeability for businesses, and significant drops in revenues to some. I would say to some because the overall impression we all get when, you know, when we literally turn on the TV is that the velocity of the world spinning is gradually going down. It's slowing down. At least this is what we're being told. Well, I'm here to give you the other side of the coin. Um, talking about online trade in particular, we're all seeing a huge growth in online trade. And this isn't just a, an, an impression of mine. Um, ACI Worldwide came up with a report comparing March of 2020 to March 2019. Guess what? Um, in terms of average transaction volumes, online trade is, has gone up by about 70%, 70 percent, seven zero we're talking about. Um, when it comes to different sectors, of course, things do differ. However, sectors that are in tremendous growth just now could easily be um, listed out. So home products, DIY, do it yourself. Garden essentials are all up by up to 90%, literally. Um, electronics and even jewelry are up to by about 25%. Um, in other words, this is a great time to be in e-commerce. Not so great to be a high street, um, high street um, shopkeeper. However, great, great time to be in e-commerce. Um, Despite the overall impression, sometimes, of course, people get about their business, and I'm talking, I'm, I'm directing my, my, my speech mostly towards the small businesses out there. Um, you know, people who, for example, own a corner shop and do want to, do desperately need to, to, to find a way out of this situation. I'm talking to them. Um, it is not a must that you need to wait for this state of pandemic to come to an end in order for you guys to resume your, your business um, activities. Not at all. Um, there are quite a few different um, ways for you to jump over and gr literally grab the branch over your heads when many others will fall. Um, because make no mistake, many, many businesses, many, many entrepreneurs will go out of business as a result, as a direct result of this pandemic. Whoever remains, though, whoever stands strong will have a tremendous growth opportunity right after. Um, 
what do I mean by this? Let's once again go back to go back to online merchants. Um, do you guys know, for example, what is the share of the market? What 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 share in the market do the top twenty online retailers keep in the U.S. in the United States? It's seventy five. This is to say that the top twenty companies dealing online and uh, online and selling online keep about seventy five percent of the market share. Amazon accounts for about 50% of this. They're just huge in the US. Quick look to Europe. Top 20 companies in Europe only account for less than 20% in market share. Less than 20 against, against 75. Amazon here in direct comparison holds around 5%. Obviously number of figures are gradually going up. However, it's about 5%. In other words, saying it once again, it is a great time, great, great time to be an e-commerce merchant. Great time, especially here in Europe. The market is literally up for grabs. Is this to say that Europeans in general are more inclined to, um, you know, to di diversify their, their, their market places, to, to, to shop from different stores? This is, you know, out for interpretation, I suppose. However, the figures are such. And if someone is trying to tell you that the world is coming to an end, no, the old world is coming to an end. A new world is emerging. Why? Well, because even after the end of this pandemic, um, many merchants, many, many consumers will have adopted new habits. Many things will have changed. Yes, life may, may appear to, to be going back to normal, However, consumers will keep choosing online now more than what they used to do back in the day, say a couple of months ago. Yes, there may be an initial hype about people going to shopping centers, shopping malls, and you know, trying to kind of grasp their old way of living. However, things in general will change. And we all need to be prepared for this, guys. We all need to be prepared for this. And once again, directing this um, towards the high street merchants, so SME, small to medium sized enterprises that are um, desperately waiting for all of this to come to an end so that they can resume their business activities. It will not be the same. Be prepared. Um, I'd love to probably share my screen with you guys because I've prepared a small presentation for you. Hope you all enjoy it. Um, can you see it? Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, beautiful planet, beautiful world. Um, unfortunately, um, grasped within a grid of fear. And we do not believe in fear. We believe in opportunities. Pandemic versus opportunity. How we can help in this whole process? Well, if Merchants are trying to find ways to receive payments, to realize their production, to keep offering their services. They should come to us. Have a look. Um, I already know if, you, if this is in your way here. However, let's give it a go. Who are we guys? We're a licensed uh, institution um, by the FCA, um, licensed and headquartered in the UK, London. Um, currently, we have over 100,000 customers, and this is to say businesses, using our services within the boundaries of the EEA, which is the European Economic Area. Uh, with seven physical stores, um, London, Paris, Zurich, um, Amsterdam, Antwerp, Barcelona, Milan, Sofia, and Barna, we do not have a store in Varna. Um, however, all the other um, locations allow you to literally walk in. And do you imagine these to be like experience centers? So people working there would be more than happy to show you around and um, let you know and ad address all the questions you may have. Um, you may have heard the instant settlements um, instant settlements are already an option. Uh, what is it to say with regards to regular um, payment solution providers, whenever you do receive a payment, you would normally wait for a couple of days, a couple of business days for that money to be um, 
credited uh, into your regular bank account, right? Um, however, with us, we are the first company within the payments industry in general to offer the so-called instant settlement. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole list of unique features that um, you know you describe my boss better than anyone can do, including myself. Um, however, it is good to know that opening a, an account, a business account with my boss, will allow you to benefit from a, an omnichannel payment solution that is it's literally going to unclog your um, your your payments and the channels for those payments. As you can probably see here, um, I don't really know if uh, this is in my way. I can probably is this better? Is it the same as before? Oh, the same as before. Okay, no worries. So, um, so imagine yourself being here, right in the middle. Um, this is your MyPost account. You can easily get paid. Um, directly online um, through one of our payment terminals. People can um, obviously use NFC and um, you do receive a business card which then allows you to spend the money you've just received. So unlike those other providers that have, uh, that have told you about, your money will be will, ar will arrive in your MyPoss account within two seconds time. So literally two seconds right after someone's paid you something you'd be able to go out to the first ATM, to the first cash machine, and withdraw the money using your business card. Okay? Um, it is an idea to give you all the freedom you may need as a merchant. Why? Well, because there's no subscriptions. There's no monthly fees, monthly charges. Nothing to keep you bound to using our services for any period of time. Um, obviously, um, our devices are online business cards and multi-currency um, accounts. Um, strictly speaking, they all untie your hands to do business as you see fit. How easy is, is it to, to open a new account with my boss in a different currency or even in the same currency? Well, a couple of clicks, literally a couple of clicks. Um, business cards, I've already told you, is linked to your business account and could be used to um, you know, spend the money you've just received. Um, the range of devices is here. Traditional devices are, um, generally speaking, the devices that do not have the so-called smart feature, okay? So these would be normally the devices suitable um, for businesses that literally want to take a card payment, they want to take a payment, and let it go. If you, if you however, are a um, you know, business owner that requires a more sophisticated, a more better suited software to manage your business, then I would personally um, recommend one of, the, one of the smart devices, which again, um, give you the opportunity to download a business specific application to then guide and manage you through the process of conducting your activities. Um, each and every one of our smart devices could um, have a specific app to relate to restaurant management, store management, and so on and so forth. The whole idea is once again, to give you all the options to receive payments and all the options to, to, to manage your funds. Something that I touched upon um, in the very beginning of this, the online payment opportunities. Um, we receive and, and accept all major um, card schemes, as you've uh, probably seen already. Um, it's a smooth and seamless checkout experience and checkout process when it comes to e-commerce. And this is a very, very key point here I need to I need to kind of admit because the same feature regarding instant settlement applies to your online store as well. Um, no difference whatsoever. Literally as soon as someone um, taps in his card details um, and presses pay, you would receive the payment right away. 
Um, as you can see, the integration um, type um, is uh, API and SDK. I'm pretty sure those of you uh, tech savvy enough would know what I'm talking about. Um, but the shopping cart plugins, as you can see, we, we support pretty much all major e-commerce um, shopping carts. Um, this happens through a very, very simple tool, a plugin that we can um, set up for you. So nothing for you guys to worry about. Uh, literally, as soon as you um, decide to start an e-commerce website, an e-commerce business, just give me a call um, or give us a call at the end of this video. You, you would um, also see my contact details and be able to um, plug into your um, shopping cart of preference. Going forward, um, with our um, value added services, um, I would love to place an emphasis on the payment request, which is the second down from the top ups. Um, I don't really know if how, um, how many of you guys are actually aware of the, what this means, but this is an absolutely unique feature. And this in fact allows you to operate um, a cart payment service, a cart payment solution without the presence of a website. What do I mean? Um, payment requests are there are one-off payment links that you generate directly um, from your MyPost account, be it on your laptop, um, your tablet, or your mobile phone. You would set up an amount that you would like to be um, paid, place a small and short description right under it, and send that either via SMS, WhatsApp, Viber, email, whatever. The person who's about to pay you would see a link. He would click on that link and see that one-off um, payment request with the preset amount and the reason for payment. Your client then enters his or her bank details. In other words, the PAN number on their bank card and hits on pay. You receive the money straight away and they are automatically notified that obviously payment has been done. This link is then no longer active. So they can't pay you twice by mistake so that you need to then refund them. It doesn't work like this. Um, it's a perfect feature for people who, again, do conduct business um, you know, from great distances or do not have any form of online presence. Say, for example, um, you are posting an ad on Facebook regarding a service or a product that you're selling. Someone gets in touch with you, they drop you an email or they drop you um, a message saying, hey, I would love to, to have a look at this. No worries, Mr. X. I will send you a payment request for that fixed amount. And then obviously as soon as you have paid me, we can, we can get started. Um, invoicing to the very right is another unique feature that we have um, created for our clients as well. It relates to creating and generating invoices um, that they can obviously then send out. Um, I do um, recommend you have a look on the website for great detail on this. However, um, as far as I'm aware, no one else is doing this um, for the time being. Um, people or our clients are um, able to generate these invoices and get paid in the exact um, instantaneous manner. So literally, as soon as someone, as soon as your client or a contractor receives that invoice, they would click on the link, enter their bank details, click on pay, and you receive the money straight away. Um, the bottom um, of the invoice is, uh, once again, as I've told you, um, something that um, is being used as a matter of instant settlement. All the other features are pretty much self-explanatory. Um, tipping feature is um, something that is greatly used by taxi drivers, for example. Um, even though the amount that is due for the um, for the ride is a fixed amount, there's an additional button called um, tip, so that they can click on that, and then you can choose the tip that you can um, you would love to to pay them. 
Um, Pre-authorization at the very um, top right is usually used by hotel owners and is uh, pretty much, um, it's very, very important feature to them, if I may say so. Um, I would love to end my presentation here. Um, below are my contact details, please um, make a note of these uh, for you guys to um, get in touch um, as soon as you are ready to, um, to do business. Um, something that I would love to... Okay. I hope you can all see me now. Something that I've decided not to put in the presentation. Times are different. Times to some are difficult. To some, as I've already shown you, are a great opportunity. The figures that I mentioned not without a reason regarding Europe, namely that the market is, has not been monopolized as of yet, pose and show you the great opportunities we all have to start trading online. People's habits will change, their needs, however, won't. So, small, medium, or big businesses need to reorganize and they need to adapt better to the new reality. You know what they say about wildlife. Who survives in the jungle? It's not the smartest. It's not the strongest. It is he who adapts better. We need to do the same, believe it or not. I'm not willing by any means to, um, to compare the business landscape to a jungle. However, those of you who have been um, dwelling in the realm of corporate would know best what I'm talking about. This is a great opportunity, by the way, for each and every one of you, not just to um, become a client of my boss in order to be able to receive payments. This is a great opportunity for you to become our partners and then re-offer or offer the service to people who may then need it. It is a win-win and I love calling it like this. It is a win-win because you guys will be profiting while allowing your clients to, as I've told you in the very beginning, grab the branch over their heads. It is crucial. It really is crucial for us to um, realize what is coming because it's already here. And what we, what we can see in terms of um, different habits, different consumer actions, it is the very beginning. No one knows how, how long this whole situation is going to last for. And whoever's telling you that he or she does is lying. I'm not going to say that. All I'm going to say is that we need to adapt better. Um, I love closing with this sentence and I'd love to keep it brief because, uh, you know, I've attended long uh, kind of seminar webinars. I know, you know, how exactly how boring they may become if you could take it a bit longer than, than expected. So I'd love to, to close with the following. What we're doing here, why you are here today, is not only to listen about the future of my boss or your future with my boss. It is about knowing and realizing, but more importantly, playing part of the future of business. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Crossing. It was just an amazing uh, presentation. So now is the, the Q&A session. So everybody is, uh, is welcome. Uh, you can ask uh, questions to, to Crossing or, or me as well. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's open for everybody. So go ahead, guys. Don't be shy. I would encourage you all to ask all the questions that you, that, that you may have, um, as silly as they may sound initially, guys, there's no silly questions. I do encourage you to, 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 to ask, really. So 
if there's there's no question at the moment could i just ask you uh, a few questions about how you my my pulse uh, grasping with, with with the covid uh, outbreak i mean of these quarantine measures uh, how do they affect my pulse uh, like uh, do you have do you have any issues with working from home stuff like this yes uh it is a very good question. So working from home is uh, not an issue for most. Uh, we do have uh, colleagues in and out who do prefer coming to the office nevertheless because of the tranquility <laughs> that the, the kind of, uh, you know, has settled here. Um, we're all very happy to, 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 to have the freedom. I'm guessing this applies to pretty much everyone nowadays. Um, being able to you know, freely come to the office with so those of us who are lucky enough to, to be able to, to, to be still able to do it, of course. Um, I'd love to, uh, I'd love to be allowed to, to work from home right after, <laughs> but you never know, you never know. Things may change, um, hopefully sooner rather than later. But no, um, being short and concise, no, um, no issues, no difficulties so far. I'm guessing people are enjoying it a bit more than they, or at least some people are enjoying it a bit more than, than before. Um, uh, may how I, about your, how yeah, about your sure. business? Uh, how is it going uh, in these times? Um, business uh, in terms of face-to-face -face payments, of course, our major markets are European markets. Um, this has affected us, um, not a question about that. Um, however, um, it is, what I, what I say is someone's loss is another one's gain. So when we um, report a slowdown or gradual slowdown in the face-to-face -face transactions, Europe-wide, um, on the other hand, we actually see I think, I mean, the, the tremendous increase in our online transactions. Um, as I've told you in the very beginning, um, I wouldn't be able to, to um, relate to specific figures with regards to my boss. However, Worldwide, internet transactions are on the rise, 70%. So um, whenever we, um, whenever there's a slowdown once again, there's also a pickup on the other hand. Um, I think Peter Colino says he would have a question. Peter, yes? Go ahead, go ahead, Peter. Yes, hello, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah perfectly. Perfect. Well, thank you for the opportunity to hang such interesting information. Uh, if I would uh, register an internet site, uh, an e-commerce shop on your platform, yep. uh, I would expect that uh, the client of mine, after having once purchased and entered his uh, car details uh, in the site, mm -hmm. when he comes again, would you use a tokenization and would my client have again to fulfill all the, the card data all once registered, he could already pay without entering the card details? Um, I would most probably need to connect to you on this particular question um, right, after the, um, right after the webinar. Uh, there are a few little details that need to be discussed and the conversation is going to be a bit too long for this uh, in, in that regard, to be honest with you. Um, keep in mind, we do um, use quite a few shopping carts and then, um, you know, results may differ slightly um, from just having a regular payment link and a shopping cart. Um, um, but again, um, generally speaking, both are possible. Both are possible. And uh, tokenization is described on, um, on our developer's website. You can um, go on to um, there and um, check it out yourself. Again, later on, I can send you a hyperlink. Should you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Um, if I may just quickly revert the conversation back to small and medium merchants. Um, I already know if you guys can um, raise hands here. I'm pretty sure you can, but if you can just probably raise your hand if you can think of a business small enough or not that small, but still not tech savvy enough. For, for them to be able to, to take advantage of um, such a technology that literally is about to unleash their potential. I mean, um, Georgi, can you see anyone raising hands or? No, I don't see anyone raising hands. Okay. 
I don't really know where where the, where where this feature is on um, on Zoom. To be honest with you, uh, so uh, people may not. I can only see clap and thumbs up here. I don't really know how to raise that myself. <laughs> However, um, you should see it on the on the right uh, on the right hand side, um, where you have all the participants. And if somebody is raising a hand, you should see it somewhere here. Okay. Okay. Um, Think about this, guys. Think about how this may affect their well-being. Um, this business may be your own, or on the other hand, as I've told you already, it may be uh, your 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 neighbor's business. Regardless, they all need a payment solution, um, and potentially speaking, by um, partnering with my boss, you could benefit from this as well. Um, please do not be shy. Ask away. Unfortunately, I don't see any raised hands or okay. anybody typing in the, in the chat. Um. Um, okay. Well, participants uh, are standing still at number 40, which means that presumably they are um, you know, expecting some new piece of info uh, <laughs> being, being told here. Um, guys, I can, I can talk about my pulse all day long. Um, I was willing not to start with that because in order for us to realize where we as a company or us as individuals stand in the overall environment, we need to be a bit more prepared as to what is already happening and how world and things are changing indeed quite rapidly. So um, by no means do I mean that, uh, do I mean to say that, you know, you should necessarily use my boss. However, with all the tech, with all the solutions and, um, um, and the opportunities that this system provides, um, I frankly see no one else combining all of them at once. All right. All right, so just uh, one last question, uh, probably from my side. Um, what do you think, uh, is this crisis an opening opportunity for, for your business, for, for my post business? I'm sorry, Gary, would you just, would just say this once again? Because I can see Peter has asked a question here. Okay. Let, let's just see Peter's question. Peter, do you want just to jump in uh, in the call or just to? If it's easier, uh, I'm curious if you could briefly explain the difference between a regular bank account and account with, with my boss. You have this concept of electronic money, which I would like to check whether I understand it correctly. Yep. And if I understand you are also envisaging to have such a kind of blocked reserve balance on the balance account. Those are details, maybe, but if uh, we could have a, a little feedback on this, I would appreciate it. Sure, absolutely. Um, Peter, um, addressing your question right away, um, the electronic money was made possible by a European directive back in 2009. Things, you know, things legally speaking, have developed over time. But generally, this is what um, allowed us to come to, to, come to be. Um, what is the difference? To our clients, there's no difference whatsoever. Um, we are not calling ourselves a bank because we're not a bank. We're an e-money institution. So whenever I refer to you, for example, as a potential client of ours, uh, receiving a bank card from my post, that would be wrong. It's an IBAN card. It's not a bank card because we're not a bank. However, to you, it makes no difference whatsoever. You still have your money secured and safe on your MyPost account. We simply do not have a massive vault, a massive safe, uh, you know, where we, where we keep the money in cash. Um, it's an electronic format. And don't get me wrong, this isn't to say that um, they're not being guarded well. I just saying that they're much, much safer than in a regular bank. But this is, again, do not take my word for it. This is just a personal um, opinion. I can tell you straight away why. Unlike banks, we do not invest your money. Your money is your money. Leave or make a deposit of 100 euros today, you would still have 100 euros 20 years from now. Yes, potentially speaking, um, <laughs> potentially speaking, um, 
they may have gone down a bit, but that's not because it, it was, there won't be 100 euros, it's because of inflation. Yes, we do not give any credits out. Uh, we're not a credit institution, we're not licensed to do it. So, therefore, there's no bad credits. There's no way of us going bust, similar to a notorious Bulgarian bank going down a few years ago. There's no such option. <laughs> your money is your money. It's as simple as. Um, payments or uh, charges from us to you, or in other words, how we charge you, is on the very payments that you accept using our service. And that's it. As simple as. Um, why is it pretty much the same to you? Well, because um, you can once again go down to any form of uh, you know, a money machine, cash machine, ATM, withdraw the money, the electronic money in cash, only two seconds after you've been paid. Um, that money you can transfer to a regular bank account, you know, using your fingertips, piece of cake. Not a problem, nothing, nothing at all. Um, but why you have an, a, a separate, a dedicated e-money account with my boss and not, for example, using one of our competitors, um, you know, way of doing things, not to deposit the money directly into your regular bank account, regular business bank account, is because this is the only way we can ensure instant settlement. Uh, we probably need to go into great, great detail about this in order to explain why and how the whole infrastructure works. However, um, we, we, we wouldn't be able to, to, um, to do instant settlement if you do not bank with us. And if I may wrap it up, you know, um, with regards to your question in particular, and say that the features of this service are so much more advanced than any other bank that I, even I, bank with. Um, open in my post account, it's free of charge. Or, you know, have a look at, at, at someone's account that's already, um, um, you know, banking with us and see how much more we provide. And the, the sheer look of the system is going to be striking. If you put this on, on the left-hand side and if you open your e-money account, sorry, not e-money account, uh, what do they call it? What do regular banks call it? Online banking. If, if, you, if you open that on your right-hand side, you're going to be astonished. It's like Star Trek from, from the 80s and Star Trek from today. That's all I can say. Well, I hope this was informative. Peter, uh, is this? Thank you. Uh, it gives me an idea, and I still have to elaborate a little bit. But thank you very much. Um, thank you, Peter. Yeah. Um, right. so there's a Maria Markova is saying that um, could you please turn up the volume on your microphone as I can't hear you well. Sorry, guys, can you not hear me too well? I can hear you pretty well. Probably she's talking a bit about me. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> anyway. Fair enough. Um, any other questions, guys? I would love to address them all. Um, not that you can't contact me um, personally and individually right after this um, session, but, you know, as they say, and I do not want to start sounding trivial, but, you know, wise people listen more and speak less because by listening, they get to, sometimes they get to learn something that they didn't know. By talking or by speaking, they mainly repeat what they already know. So I would love to be able to learn something from you guys today as well. Peter was uh, great in um, asking questions and uh, let me to address those as much as I could. Um, Peter, I'd love to obviously get in touch with you right after, you know, if you to, um, you know, to kind of speak about tokenization and um, show you how things work. Anyone else, guys? All right, I think uh, that's everything for today. Of course, if you have any more questions, you, you're all free to, to just give us a mail or uh, get in contact with Krasen. Uh, so once again, Krasen, thank you, thank you very much uh, for your time. 
uh, and your presentation, it was just really in insightful. So if I can just uh, wrap it up and finish off. Uh, so as we all heard, uh, and I'm sure you all agree, the COVID-19 um, outbreak will change the business as we know it. So let's work to, to turn this uh, crisis into an opportunity. Um, so Krasen, you, you gave us a really nice solution to, to do this. Uh, and uh, once again, huge thank you. Thanks to, to all of the participants today, uh, of the questions and uh, just being here, listening to us. Um, we are having another webinar. Uh, this time it's not gonna be next week, but uh, the week after that, because of the festive period that uh, we are going in uh, in Bulgaria. So our next webinar is on the 14th of May uh, and our next, next guest uh, will be Nancy Terra. Um, so I'll have just one last, last, uh, last uh, favor to ask of you. Uh, please be so kind to fill in the feedback form that I'll send you later. Um, I'll send you over the recording as well. Uh, so don't forget to follow us on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. And of course, stay tuned for the latest in the fintech world. So guys, thank you very much for attending today. On my end as well, a huge, huge thank you to the Bulgarian Fintech Association for making this possible. Um, and I, um, you know, I, I live in hope that you guys will only um, keep growing, getting bigger and bigger and um, being able to organize such events even more often because um, I'm pretty sure, you know, that there's quite a few speakers out there that um, want to have the word and, uh, you know, express their opinions on the business landscape. Thank you. Thank you so much, Krasen. Um, so we are doing our best. Uh, so thank you for your time once again. Uh, stay home, stay safe, and uh, see you on 14th of May. All right. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone, and thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.